Good morning. Welcome back to my channel and morning devotions. My name is Maggie and it's day two of rainy day hair. I've gone retro with the high ponytail because I just need it off my neck. I'm changing up where we're doing our devotions today because I have this fabulous devotion called At the Feet of Jesus by Joanna Weaver. And today really encapsulates some of the struggles that I have gone through in my own uh, personal life in the area of dieting and fitness. I love what she says, and it's very humorous. And there's some scriptures we're going to be reading. Okay. So if I had to entitle this one, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, I would say spiritual fitness. So the scripture comes from the book of Proverbs 23, verse 2. I've read this before, and I'm just like, yikes. Put a knife to your throat if you are given to gluttony. Okay, I'm on a diet. Just the word makes me hungry, but the grace of God which brings salvation has appeared to me and it is teaching me to say no to ungodliness and sausage egg McMuffins with cheese, which I happen to love. <laughs> Yea, even though I am surrounded by a case of Frappuccinos bought at the sale at Costco and several boxes of Girl Scout cookies, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. I love how she took Psalm 23 and stuck those things in there. <laughs> I'm so glad God doesn't leave me to myself when it comes to transformation. He really is a very present help in times of trouble, temptation, and triple fudge brownies. But I have to cooperate with grace, adding my try to the oomph in the spirit. I love that. For without a little discipline on my part and a whole lot of help from God, I will remain the same. Let me say that again. For without a little discipline on my part and a whole lot of help from God, I will remain the same, frustrated and depressed way behind schedule on my holy makeover. All because I choose a life of ease rather than a life that pleases God. Isn't it easier? I mean, I read that and I was just like, it's so much easier to just sit back and do nothing, to not make an effort, to not try, to not think, to just kind of exist and just let things happen as they may. That's easier but that's not what God wants. That's not what he intended for us. He made us for purpose. Discipline is such a four letter word. Not only does it have negative connotations, it requires W-O-R-K. My idea of discipline tends to be more like that of Phyllis Diller, who wants to find exercise as a good brisk sit. <laughs> but as my derriere will attest, sitting only makes the problem grow. The sad truth is, if we want to be what Christ has called us to be, we will have to stop being spiritual couch potatoes and get into the gym of the Holy Spirit, for that is the only way to work out what God has so generously worked in us. Now, she references Philippians chapter 2, excuse me, verses 12 and 13. So let's read that. Dear friends, you always followed my instructions when I was with you, and now that I'm away, it is even more important. Work hard to show the results of your salvation, obeying God with deep reverence and fear, for God is working in you, giving you the desire and the power to do what pleases him. I love that. I love that. God gives us the power to do what pleases him. Okay, and then we're supposed to read chapter or Hebrews chapter 5, verses 13 and 14, and then we'll have a little bit of reflection. So Hebrews 5, 13 and 14. For someone who lives on milk is still an infant and doesn't know how to do what is right. Solid food is for those who are mature, who through training have the skill to recognize the difference between right and wrong. And that's that's in Hebrews, that's a call for spiritual growth. And I love the parallels of, you know, looking at infants, babies. They can only survive on milk because their digestive system cannot handle solid foods yet. They can't chew it. They can't digest it and absorb it. 
And spiritually speaking, if all you want is the basic Jesus loves me, this I know for the Bible tells me so, uh, but never want to go any deeper with the Lord than just the basics, the little nursery rhyme kind of things that children learn, uh, you're never going to grow. You're, you're always going to be a target for the enemy. And God wants us to grow. He wants us to get in on the meat of the word. Okay. Now, our, reflections, our reflection is when it comes to our spiritual fitness, why is our spiritual diet as important as our physical diet? Well, our spirit man needs to grow. And whatever you feed is what's going to grow. Whatever you feed. If all your, if all your spirit man receives is worldly things, you, you're constantly watching TV, the news, movies, playing video games, reading, you know, novels or books or things that have nothing to do. They, they might be self-help. They might be do-it-yourself DIY. You might be filling your life with things that aren't necessarily bad. But what is your spirit man getting that is helping your spirit to grow and have better understanding and revelation and a deeper knowledge of who God is and what it is he wants to do in your life? You know, they always say you are what you eat. Okay. If all you ate was sugary junk and junk food, you'd be sick because your body wouldn't have what it needs to grow, to thrive and survive. Your immune system wouldn't work, so you'd be getting sick from illnesses a lot. You would have weaknesses in your body because you haven't exercised it. And so you're going to wind up growing and aging before your time physically and being unable to do have a life that's vibrant and full. You know, when you're not drinking milk or eating all the things you need to eat, you're going to have vitamin deficiencies that are going to create other health problems. We all know this. OK, when you're eating stuff that's not clean, you're going to invite toxins and parasites and things into your body that are going to bring further destruction. Now you parallel that with the spirit. What are you eating and feeding your spirit? If you're not feeding it the word of God, if you're not feeding it fellowship, if you're not feeding it things that are helping you to grow and understand your spirit, man is also going to be diseased and weak and unable to, to be strong and stand up and fight off those things in the spirit. So I think we can see what the parallels are. Love in today's devotion. I think I'm going to do a few more from here because this is sitting at the feet of Jesus to nurture a Mary heart. And Mary is spelled like the woman's name because there was Mary and Martha and Mary chose to sit at the feet of Jesus. So Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. That really spoke to me. I was just looking I, uh, I didn't even look at today's devotion and the hundred uh, devotions for happiness, you know, start your day with happiness. I thought, let me go to this one. And I looked and I was like, okay, I hear you, Lord, so, loud and clear, loud and clear. So uh, let's take a moment and just pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your grace and mercy that you are moving, Father God, in our lives to strengthen us, to mature us in the spirit. And we want to receive that, oh God. We want to receive that. You're in the model prayer in Matthew. You see, it starts off with uh, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, holy is your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, Lord. Help us to embrace that portion of the prayer and to pray to you, thy will be done in my life, in every area of my life. And Father, I thank you for giving us eyes to see, ears to hear, and awakening our spirit man. Lord, let your Holy Spirit bring that prick of conviction. If we are connecting ourselves with too many worldly things and our spiritual diet is sparse, we're starving in the spirit. Help us to grow and mature, Father, that we could do as you called us to do in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, God bless you. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate your uh, time with me today. Again, my, my endings always seem to be a little bit awkward. I try to be all smooth about it, but I wind up fumbling over my words. God bless you. Come back. Check out some of the other content I have on my, on my channel. And uh, bye until next time.